Ruby! Good girl. Come on. Come on. Good girl. Good. Come on. Right. Should we give you a, a wee wee? Wait. Wait. Okay. Good girl. Whoops. Let's we'll sort that lead out. There we go. Good girl. Leave it. Leave it. Leave it. Okay, what she's doing there is uh, biting and mouthing at the lead, which is not a big, big, big deal, but it can become a problem when the dog gets a bit older. Uh, obviously the dog understands the lead is restricting her and they can get a bit frustrated. So this is a wee wee patch, so I'm going to say to her, hurry up, I'm going to hang here. Hurry up, good girl, straight in, good girl. What a clever girl. Oh, she's a clever girl. Good girl, yes. Not allowed to jump up on me, off. Gonna use that off word, off. So, be, be, we're being, so you can see, how, I mean, she's very intelligent, quick learner. She sits down straight away. Will she jump again? No. And as you can see from my voice, I'm not shouting, I'm not being harsh, I'm not being overly um, assertive. She's only a tiny little thing, so any jumping up just needs a little bend of the knee, just enough to brush her off, really. Okay. So with a dog at so, such a young age, we can make these little corrections so easily. So the beginning of day two uh, with Ruby. Now, you've had the first couple of videos which looked at us bringing Ruby home, settling her in, meeting our other dogs, and uh, that was the second video. The very first video, we were looking at some initial preparations that we can make in the home, some bits and pieces of equipment which are useful uh, for you to consider prior to bringing your puppy home. Now, I was thinking, I don't want to just make the videos purely a, a running documentary of a day with Ruby, although that has some appeal, but really to think about ways in which I can help the new puppy owner. And I think probably the top three issues I'm asked to help with, with new puppy owners, are, are toilet training, uh, nighttime behaviour, getting the puppy to settle on its own at night, and then quite probably things like nipping and chewing. Now it has to be said that Ruby is not a big nipper and she's not hard mouthed. Say if you had a little terrier you might expect something uh, to be a bit more uh, bitey <clears throat> but um, Ruby any sort of mouthing so far has she's just received a quick no biting and she's uh, accepted that without a problem. So I don't think I will have a great deal of problems to resolve with her. Uh, she wants to get down so I'll put her down but those are the three areas that I want to move on and look at next toilet training nighttime behavior and looking at any nipping and biting or excessive excessive mouthing that sort of thing is that going to be okay with you as you can see she's so chilled I've uh, been very very impressed with the way she settled in We've not had a single wee or poo by accident in the home and she's been clean and dry overnight as well. And we, She's been left for about six, seven, maybe this morning, more hours. So I'm so impressed with her. Um, but I think this is a credit to her and her intelligence and of course to... Uh, Lily the breeder who did such a nice job with her in the first eight weeks Okay, and of course your mummy and daddy as well. So it all adds up together all a part of that puppy Decision-making process finding a breeder that you like and trust uh, and that they know what they're doing So it's all adds up ultimately the other thing I want to say is that she was a dog reared in the home not in a shed at the bottom of the garden uh, which is not a good arrangement because it would be easy to have a dog at this age that's actually a bit fearful of everything okay so I'll stop it here she wants to get down and um, we'll we'll look at toilet training so this is the area she's been coming to for her her wheeze this morning hurry up hurry up Ruby we have always hurry used up. the phrase hurry up 
with our dogs. Um, this starts right from the very beginning. And then when the dog's in the actual process of uh, having a pee, we can say, good, hurry up. Hurry up. Hurry up. There she is. Is a clever girl. What a clever girl. Oh, yeah. Who's a clever girl? Who's a clever dog? <laughs> this is about as close as they've been. can be quite a valid way of allowing uh, dogs and cats to meet actually through a window. At least uh, everything is there except the ability to touch each other or smell each other. Mm? Yes, she is. Ruby. Yes. Could be. I need to address this little boundary with my neighbour because there used to be some mesh there but there isn't any longer so I'm a bit loath to let go of the lead. This way. This way. Later on she won't be allowed to come on these borders at all. Come on, this way. She can go on the grass but not on the border. Ooh. I'll give her the opportunity to have a little scamper. I could do with that flexi lead. This is where a little flexi lead could be useful. Come on, this way. But the benefit of putting a lead on her for toilet breaks is that you... And she's had her pee now, so I can let her have a little romp around. But the, the lead initially allows you to maintain a bit of control so you can keep her in a set space, keep her mind focused. Uh, because if you let a, dog out, a young dog out into the garden with not on a lead, it will just basically run everywhere, pee and poo everywhere and um, you lose the advantage of trying to create a set area for a dog to do that. <laughs> so any jumping up on me, she'll ah, 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 leave it, leave it, no, leave it. Okay, steady on, steady. So we ne just need to be very gentle at this stage. No need for anything firm but we're just being clear and we're being consistent. So I'd say she's, Ooh, here we go again. So the key times to think about giving your puppy an opportunity to uh, pay a visit to the garden are, for example, just after it's eaten, after it's finished having a good little play in the home, when it's woken up after a sleep, also, if you see your dog circling or sniffing, scraping at a certain spot where you think, oh, she's going to have a wee, then that's when you need to scoop your dog up, ideally before she starts going, uh, and to take her straight out to the garden. This really needs a high level of vigilance and you need to be consistent. And there's three of us at home at the moment, so we're all on triple duty and we've yet to have an accident with her. Uh, in the home which is exactly what we were hoping for and we're helping her to be set up for success so that's the real key here uh, that we're consistent and getting her out on a regular basis oh my goodness that was a big yawn I think she's ready for her mid-morning meal um, so let's take her in and give her that bit of food hey eh? don't you think come on you little baby She's a little puppy, aren't you? Eh? What? What are you doing? She makes a nice neck warmer. Yes, you do. Make a nice neck warmer. Hmm. Yes, I know. Let's put you in. So here's the back door. And what we're just going to do is to start to introduce some little sits and waits here. It doesn't need to be refined or polished. It's just a concept at this stage. Onto the step. Oh. Uh, uh. So just in. Uh, 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 uh. Wait. Wait. She is sitting here. Wait. Turn and face her. Come on. Good girl. Take this lead off. 
Okay.